Well, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Monday's trading session, the 5th of December 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app, uh, like I mentioned, at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's look at the actual numbers for uh, this more, well, certainly Asian markets overnight. First of all, Asian uh, Nikkei market, Nikkei down 0.8%, Hang Seng down 0.2%. And the Shanghai down a whopping 1.2%. So certainly risk off mode in Asia overnight. Although we did have economic data that was actually strong. We had the China and Chinese CACs in certainly coming in on strong. You had the Australian election certainly helping as well to a large extent. Uh, potential talk of Apple and self-driving car. UK CBI growth as well potentially. Irish, Russian CPI stronger. And you had the Nikkei PMI and Japanese PMI both stronger as well. So certainly some strong data are overnight, but that data was negated by the sentiment from Europe. So we had bearish sentiment in terms of Europe with regards to the vote uh, referendum, uh, obviously voting no. Uh, Europe casts into political uncertainty once again. Obviously the uh, Eurozone project now under threat, etc., etc. And therefore sentiment was expected to be bearish, obviously given the uh, situation with regards to US election and obviously the Brexit concerns as well. Obviously, Brexit concerns certainly exacerbated with the Article 50 ruling, uh, obviously, Supreme Court ruling in motion today as well. So, again, the uncertainty regarding that, okay? So, when you have uh, China down minus 1.2%, that certainly is risk off, okay? You have uh, uh, Brent and uh, crude both into resistance as well. You have the euro certainly under immense pressure, okay? So, all those factors all together add together indicating risk aversion. Okay, so uh, uh, along with that, you have had German PMI, though, uh, on the stronger side. You've had, uh, or just about, uh, the Eurozone retail sales coming in stronger, UK PMI stronger, and potential OPEC demand for, for oil as well, forecasting uh, stronger demand going forward. So all those factors together certainly has helped the FTSE and the uh, German DAX, the CAC, certainly short squeeze high this morning. Now, European uh, equities are currently up by one. I mean, the G German DAX is up a whopping 1.5%. FTSE up uh, just a mere 0.3 percent due to the Article 50 ruling. It was actually at 6800 early in the morning with the stronger PMI, and obviously oil prices uh, above 452. Okay, uh, now we have had the FTSE MIB as well down 0.6 percent, and stocks certainly higher as well. So F CAC and DAX certainly the two uh, impressive indices this morning, certainly leading the markets higher. So. An impressive short squeeze to say the least, especially given the fact that we had uh, the no vote and um, although markets were anticipating the yes vote or were hoping for the yes vote. So it certainly seems that the markets have, have ignored concerns from Italy and are, are totally uh, oblivious to it. So whether that's complacency or whether that's due to the fact that uh, uh, obviously with a no vote being cast, it creates uncertainty and therefore you're guaranteed QE from the ECB. Now, if that was the case, then we'd expect the euro to be sub 1.05, not at 1.07. So that argument doesn't hold either. So certainly is baffling this morning as to why market participants have actually bid the market with a no vote being cast. Very surprising. Very, very confusing for me. OK, I've been stopped out on a lot of my short positions this morning, down 110 points at the moment. I have two active shorts, short the CAC and short the euro stocks. OK, certainly looking for a potential sell off there. OK, let's look at the actual uh, technical picture now. So let's start off with the German DAX. As you can see here, I mean, the German DAX, let's just have a look at the actual rally in the DAX first and foremost. Uh, let's bring up the DAX here. Let's bring up a chart. Let's see what the pivot low was overnight. So pivot low overnight was 10,400. OK, and we've actually hit a pivot high of uh, 10,730. So you've, you've basically witnessed a 330 point rally in the German DAX. Now that's impressive, folks. OK, that's impressive. OK, and it's very hard for you to, as a trader, when you're trading with a 30, 40 point stop loss, to actually even attempt to navigate through that. So again, it's one of those days. It's a days, a day of extremities, okay? A 60 minute chart on the German DAX, you can see we're holding that pivot R3 resistance thus far, and that resistance is expected to hold, okay, at the key level at 10,720. Potential retracement back down to 10,600, potentially 10,650 even. So again, looking for a retrace here, given the extremity that we've uh, currently seen. You can see that the um, the RSI certainly is uh, is certainly into the overbought territory here as well, and no further volume certainly in the uh, increasing at all on the buy side either. So again, certainly looking for a potential retrace here, down back to the potential 200 MA. So watch out for that zone. If you use a fib retracement from the pivot low to the pivot high, 
you clearly see we've had a 350 point rally so uh, looking for a retrace even even back down to the 38% uh, okay so again let's see if we can get back down to this uh, 10 600 zone okay so German DAX certainly vulnerable at present S&P 350 again you're into the horizontal resistance certainly holding um, and diagonal trend line resistance as well certainly looking uh, exhausted on the upside again certainly have pushed higher again holding resistance looking for a retrace here bringing up the French CAC here now okay so the French CAC let's bring up the daily chart for you folks okay so again horizontal resistance certainly held and therefore looking for a move lower 10 minute chart from my perspective looking for a flush down to this uh, 200 MA 4550 zone okay on the French CAC on the back of a stronger euro certainly hurting exports looking for this bear flag to play out now okay so looking for a flush down if we do get a flush then it's, it's going to be in this zone here this zone certainly is an important area okay so again previous resistance support so this is your zone 4550 4540 for the French CAC, the zone where you are potentially going to get a, uh, a potential bounce on after the initial sell-off. Okay, now looking at the FTSE 100. Okay, so daily chart at the moment, certainly holding that key 6690 zone thus far. Okay, certainly has been helped with a stronger oil price to a large extent. Certainly has helped with oil prices obviously reaching the... Uh, uh, above 52 okay and uh, stronger PMI data as well certainly helping the FTSE 100 okay so we've certainly pushed higher we've not made lower lows now we've actually put in a higher high so now the question is can we put in a higher low okay do we put in a higher low or do we actually uh, go back and test the double bottom so that's the question folks how low do we go okay in order for the FTSE to uh, to actually establish a potential move higher and break out this bearish trend okay so again all eyes on the FTSE 100 in terms of whether or not it makes a higher high and I have we made a higher high we need a higher low now okay 10 minute chart you do have support here at 6740 it'll be interesting to see how it, if that holds given the fact that oil prices are now into resistance you have Brent uh, you have crude as well both into resistance if I just bring that up for you okay so horizontal resistance around this 52.5 level so again looking for risk aversion risk off in terms of oil copper as well into resistance so again looking for risk off in terms of the next move there so copper oil two key uh, commodities certainly both into resistance and therefore expect the FTSE 100 to be into resistance as well so certainly look for uh, further weakness on the FTSE 100 let's bring up the last index now euro stocks there we go Okay, so Euro stocks and daily chart clearly show you uh, you have horizontal resistance, so looking for weakness. 60 minute chart again, it's horizontal resistance, looking for weakness. And the 10 minute chart at the moment again, you're looking for a potential uh, move lower here. Euro stocks potential down to the uh, 200 MA really is the only next level that I can see, which is around that 3035 zone, especially given the fact that Euro itself now has popped. Uh, a stronger euro generally indicates uh, risk aversion you can see the daily chart certainly has held a pivot low even with the referendum being no still the euro certainly has shaken that off and that's certainly showing your strength so four hour chart looking to potentially break on the upside so interesting scenario that we find ourselves in so it'll be interesting to see how the markets unfold uh, from my perspective certainly looking for weakness and uh, in european equity specifically Okay, so, uh, and that certainly will be interesting to see how we react into the US session. On that note, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.